The Jeju Islands found off the coast of South Korea boast dormant volcanoes, stunning coastlines, and a group of free diving women called Henyo, or sea women. For at least 200 years, these women have been diving for abalone, oysters, sea urchins, octopus, and other marine goods as a way to make a living. Traditionally, girls start training to dive without breathing equipment from as young as 11 years old. The women can free dive down to about a depth of 30 meters for three minutes at a time. In the early 1960s, around 23,000 of the island's women were professional divers. These sea women turned the gender norms in South Korea on their heads. The diving women held such an important place economically within Jeju's economic system that Jeju kind of converts to a semi-matriarchy. The women were earning the money. The men were staying home, so the roles were kind of turned around on Jeju Island. I can't think of any other agricultural societies around the world where it's the women that are providing most of the nutrients and the food for the community. The diving women of Jeju Island have come to symbolize the power of what women can do. Today, the number of sea women are dwindling, with only around 4,000 divers, and with fewer young people joining, the collective is aging. The majority of the divers are over 50, and some even in their 80s. But their inspiring legacy lives on. This idea that women can train to become deep sea divers and acquire these valuable marine resources is picked up in other parts of East Asia where similar diving communities appear around the coast of Japan, for example, and other parts of the Korean Peninsula. To learn more about Korea's incredible history of culture and innovation, watch History Erased, The World Without Korea.